Princess Anne may receive Prince Philip and Harry's royal titles dash hardest working royal. Princess Anne has commanded the respect of the armed forces and should be offered Prince Harry and Prince Philip's royal titles. According to an expert, after Prince Harry officially confirmed he will not be returning as a working royal earlier this year, many of his patronages and military titles were stripped. The late Prince Philip's titles and patronages were returned to the Queen after he died on April 9. Thomas Mace Archer Mills, founder of the British Monarchist Society, explained why Her Majesty's only daughter should receive the titles and patronages. He told the Daily Star, Princess Anne is very happy where she is. She's not one for fuss, just like her father. She's time after time considered the hardest working member of the royal family. It would be a shock if she was not at least given the opportunity to decline some of those patronages that have opened up. She is no nonsense, duty, to the point, she's not one for small talk, she tells it straight and that's what the military is about. Her very demeanor is very good for the patronages that her father had. Last Sunday. Princess Anne led the way as the royal family marked Anzac Day. The Princess Royal laid wreaths at a war memorial in commemoration of the Australian and New Zealand forces. On behalf of the royal family, Princess Anne and her husband Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence attended two commemorative services in London to mark the day. Mr Mace Archer Mills explained that Princess Anne commands the respect of the armed forces. He said, she is constantly doing what's expected of the Crown and there's a very big difference between her work and those of her nephew Harry's. So she's going to be picking up a lot of work in the coming years because the Crown is down a player. There's a few that are open from the patronages that were returned to the Queen from Harry. Being the Queen's only daughter it really shows well that this woman who was not born to be King or Queen is the one to take these honorary patronages and make something of them. She commands the respect of the armed forces and that's why she will be given more of those honorary patronages which will have been left behind. Princess Anne holds the honorary military ranks of General, Admiral and Air Chief Marshal across the Army, Navy, and Air Force. She received the appointments of General and Air Chief Marshal to mark her 70th birthday in August 2020.